Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Guess what time it is? It is 2 p.m. AEST. If you're in Melbourne, welcome. And I see Simran has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Right, my name is Prosper Tarowinga and i um, the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. Um, your one-stop shop for everything digital and also the founder and creator of the online prosperity blueprint and program Thank you so much for tuning in if this is your first time tuning in with us. You are welcome All right, so this is what happens every day uh, at 2 p.m. AEST we show up and um, you know, we sit down here, we talk about stuff that's happening within our business, we talk about stuff that could help you market, scale, and grow your business so that it is profitable and enjoyable. And normally, when I'm finished with this video, people are getting back to me and telling me how much they're earning a little bit more with less struggle, and they're also getting recognized within their industry doing what they love the most. Matt Tibu. Thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right, so if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm always talking about progress. You know I'm always talking about putting out content. You know I'm always talking about just being somebody who can be found somewhere so that your clients can find you when they're searching for you, okay? So today I'm going to talk about a lot of the problems that I find Maybe people come to me saying, oh, this is not working or the whole entrepreneurial journey is rigged and why am I not getting the results that I was promised, etc., etc." There could be one or two things, but I'm going to mention a few things that I started talking or preempting about yesterday. Okay, so uh, let me give you a bit of break background. Okay. I mean, obviously, this is probably your first time watching this lunch and learn, and you might not even care why this is going to help you. But like I said, it, it will help you earn a little bit more money, and it will also help you do what you love doing with less struggle. I see Erin Pym has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my love. How you been? Haven't heard from you in a while. Okay, so every day I kind of like speak to different people from like, all walks of life, all right, from doctors, lawyers, I've spoken to astronauts, I've also spoken to rocket scientists, you know, and, and, and you, I always find there's always one thing about them, their work, or who they connect to, etc., etc. It's not about their talent, it's not about their skill, it's not about what they studied, it's their emotional intelligence. It's their personal connection with real people. All right. So there's this whole premise on the Internet space that, you know, you got to automate everything. You got to reach out to as many people. But we're missing out on the one essential ingredient, which is people. We are actually not connecting to the people we are asking money off of. That's where the big disconnect is. First of all, maybe you're not connecting because you actually don't love what you're doing. You actually probably don't love people. Now, that's not going to work in this online space. Okay? So, you know, like I'm saying, every single day I'm talking to people from all walks of life. And some are asking me about the Online Prosperity Blueprint Program. If you haven't known about it, it's a four-step system that's designed to help you market, scale, and grow your business. All right? And... Um, some I talk about, um, you know, the consulting work that I actually do where I help, um, you know, coaches and consultants to package brand and market their services. You know, when I speak to these people, there's usually one thread that comes out. And normally it's about that person who I know is not going to go ahead. First of all, people still think that the customer is king. But let me tell you a little something. The world has become so global. All I need is 10 people every single month to create and relate for. If you are not going to be part of those people, I'm not going to waste my time trying to reach out to you. I'm not going to waste my content on people that do not understand or are not ready to comprehend it first. And that's the same as what you should be doing for your business. Stop trying to reach people that don't care about what you providing. Stop trying to convince people that don't care about your product. Find out those people that already know, like, and trust you and make sure that you're solidifying their purchasing decision in their head. All right. So when I speak to all of these people, like I said, you know, rocket scientists, um, you know, engineers, authors, speakers, all those people, 
Some of those people that I speak to, I know right from the first time we're speaking that they're either not going to go ahead or their business is not going to last. First of all, it's the energy that they have. You know, the energy that, oh, so what are you excited about in your business? How are you helping people? Uh, you know, people are buying my program. Nobody cares. People care about what it is that you can provide and help them with. And these days, you'll actually get more recognition if you can help people by actually helping them on the spot. So that's why a lot of people are finding it difficult to business. That's why a lot of people are finding it difficult to be entrepreneurs because they actually are not passionate about the thing they're peddling to people. And people can notice. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's really simple these days to be successful. All you got to be is authentic. All you got to be is sure that you actually love what you're doing. You care about it long enough for you to be there tomorrow when the person is ready to purchase that thing from you. All right. So how do you do this? All you have to do is make sure that you are somebody. All right. By being somebody, I'm talking about, you know, people can find you because you are who Google says you are. It's become so easy these days for you to manipulate what Google thinks. You can put out content, you can put out, you can go on guest blogs, you can be featured on people's podcasts. All of those are digital touch points that will help people make a decision whether they want to transact or do business with you. All right? That's the whole being uh, a somebody somewhere. You have to be found somewhere. Are you creating a digital footprint that people can trace you when they're busy? Because you might put out an ad right now. You're probably watching this. There's 600 ads that are in your newsfeed. Are you seeing any of them? All right. You might be on your lunch break because this is the lunch and learn. I normally want to make sure I'm speaking to people during their lunch break. But, you know, you, you might have only 15 minutes. Does that mean that the person who put their ads in your newsfeed can guarantee that you've already seen them? That's exactly what's happening to your ads as well. People are busy there with their kids. They're on the toilet. They're on the bus. They're on the train. They have no time to see what you've got. So if you're not laying down a foundation of, you know, content so that they can, they can, um, they can eat up when on, on, on their own spare time, then you're missing the plot. All right. Great stuff. So at the end of the day, you actually have to be doing something. All right, you have to do something like have a system that you follow or give people a reason to want to do something. People are always looking for things to do. You got to give them an ample enough reason. The reason why people are not sharing your stuff, the reason why people are not, you know, coming to your events, the reason why people are not coming to your life is because you are not also reciprocating that. What are you doing to earn that person's trust? What are you doing to earn that person's goodwill? What are you doing to earn that person's need to want to transact with you or show you to other people that actually, um, you know, want to be, do and have whatever it is that you're preaching about? So at the end of the day, are you going to be somebody? All right. Do you do you want to go somewhere? Yeah, are you going to do something that people would then exchange that with their credit card? You know why? Because you're giving value to them. So all of those things, if you're not asking yourself those questions, that's the reason why this whole entrepreneurship or business journey is, is, is giving you a headache. Some people are talking about phenomenal success every single day and you're missing out. You know why? Because you're not creating and relating to the people you're asking money from. Simple as that. There's not going to be a funnel. There's not going to be a haggity hack. There's not going to be a clickety clack funnel or there's not going to be anything that will put you in front of your customers better than you actually creating and relating to the people you're asking money from. You know, the reason why I show up every single day is because I know something about you that maybe you don't even know that I do. You know why? Because I'm paying attention because at the end of the day, I really want to be relevant to you. I really want to be relevant to my community right now. I know you don't have leads. I know you don't have a guaranteed income. I know you're just studying everything to get ahead. And I know you don't have a system to follow. I know you don't have a process and I know you don't have freedom. You're just tied to your computer just to fulfill tasks. 
You sometimes alone, you might think you are in a group or you've got a network, but none of those people are giving you leads or business. All right, you're really struggling at the moment to, 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 to make enough money. You're skeptical about every other person that comes into, the, into your newsfeed. You know why? Because you've been duped before. I know all of that. And I know what you want. I know right now if you're given time with a coach, sometimes some of you would, would take it with both hands or some of you would want to see results first. Some of you would want to see content value. Some of you have already spent money on other courses. Your quarter for this year's coaching and everything else is finished. I know that. But I know next year you're going to be ready. Next year you're going to want to play. Next year you're going to want to see proven systems. Next year you're going to want to see proven solutions. You're going to want to see positive and raving reviews. I'm creating that in the process. What are you doing to tap into your clients that are not ready for you yet, but will be ready in the future? All right, that's, that's where a lot of people are getting it wrong. And then, you know, they, they start crying foul because they were sold into entrepreneurship by a misleading Facebook ad. All right, everybody would have told you, oh, I just plugged in this and I, I highlighted these two things and, you know, I had free traffic. Oh, I highlighted these four things and my Instagram went berserk. There's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. And that's the reason why your journey is not as phenomenal as the person that sold you that, you know, course or that, that trick or whatever it is. When somebody sells you something, especially and they say for a limited time only, that's as long as that thing works for a limited time. All right. So I want to tell you what's missing in your entrepreneurial salad that you need to start putting together so that you actually start getting phenomenal results. And you, you might be surprised. It's not going to be a hack. It's not going to be a trick. It's not going to be statistics. It's you. You need to focus on you because you're the star player. All right. You're the person that's making Everything happened, the connections, the communication, the connecting with the clients, because people buy from people, all right? People buy from those that they know, like, and trust, all right? After this video, you're going to go out and you're going to start creating and relating to people that actually want to hear about your products. Don't get me wrong or anything, guys, because whatever, whatever is happening in your life right now, your life story. And your experience has greater importance and market value than you could probably dream of. All right? You are here to make a difference in this world. And the best way that you can do that is to actually package your knowledge, advice, and experience. All right? In whatever industry that you're in right now and in whatever, you know, genre or, or niche that you think you're going to flourish in. And then help other people succeed in the process. If you're not doing anything else to help other people right about now, it will be very difficult for you to break through that entrepreneurial trap. It's easy. You will continuously buy the courses. You continuously buy the books. You continuously be in the groups, but you won't see traction. All right. So there's a lot of things that is missing. You, you might get caught up in all the hype. I want you to stay focused on the main actor. I want you to stay focused on the, on the true player. Because if you're going to buy a course today, how many people have bought that course? And how many people are going to be deploying that strategy into the market? You're only just going to be a has-been. All right? You want to stay focused on, on the crucial elements that actually distinguish you as an entrepreneur from the rest of everybody else and actually keep the fire burning. You know why? Because you are the one that needs to succeed, not the other people that the guru is telling you about. All right? Because if you look at my fingers right now, no fingers on the same hand are of the same height. Unless there's some genetically dysmorphication that would have happened on your hand. But 99% of the people never have fingers that are of the same height. So that means every single person is totally different. You can never have the same results that another person has. Because you're in a different environment. You've got different influences. You've got different relatives. You've got different wives. You've got different husbands. You've got different kids. Maybe they don't have. Maybe they've got a different way or where they work or who, how, who their internet provider is allows them to have a speedy connection. You probably don't have all of that. So what makes you think their results would transact or would translate to what you're doing without you putting in the work?
All right, I see Vincent has just tuned in. Pia, how's it all going? Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. All right, today we're just talking about how some people are not having phenomenal results and what's actually missing in the whole, in, you know, entrepreneurial salad that they're trying to cook up. All right, you know, you know, you know, maybe you would have left the job that you hated. Maybe that's how you started the journey. You left a job that you hated or you just came straight from college and you thought, okay, I'm not going to work for somebody else. And you just plunged straight into the big bad world of entrepreneurship. It's a good place to be, but you got to show up. All right. And congratulations. I mean, obviously, you have probably got a website. You probably got three or four followers. You probably got, you know, a few Snapchat people that follow you. But I'll probably just send you a gold medal in the mail for your bravery. The work starts when you start converting customers and they start raving about your work. Okay. So I'm going to call you maybe Pia or Tim or Vincent. Do you know what I mean? There's something that's missing. You could have all the information. You could have all the courses that you can go through. But I want to tell you something. I'm not a guru. I'm somebody who came in from Africa and I learned all of this. All right. I decided I had to be my own star player. I did not leave that to have a guarantee from somebody else to guarantee my own success. All right. I now work with multi-million dollar companies. I now work with really big names in Melbourne. You know why? So I think I can say a thing or two regarding this whole entrepreneurial journey and I can solve some of your issues. All right. It's not because I'm saying I'm smart or or whatever, I've just wrecked up a few hours, a little bit more than a few people, and I've suffered many heartaches, and I've suffered, or I've probably caused a few as well, and maybe, I'm not sure, but there could be evidence out there that somebody could have died with the evidence that I, I mean, with the, with the, with the, with the with trying to catch up with what I'm doing, I don't know yet. This video is not going to be one of those rah-rah, you know, one bam, standing ovation, high five, you know, partner in this, in this, um, you know, um, type of enterprise. Moreover, the advice that I'm actually going to give you is counterintuitive in some ways, and it's going to take a lot of mental stamina for you to understand what I'm about to tell you, all right? For you to become a better entrepreneur, the person you've got to be as the person you want to be. All right. You see, most of the advice that you're going to need once you've started a business, 99% of it is not even business related. It's not. Okay. You got to work on this bad boy here because you are venturing into unknown territory. All right. We are venturing and you're dealing with other minds. So your mind has to be totally superior in order for you to actually win this, all right? Sorry to tell you this, my friend, uh, Coffee, who's just tuned in. Sorry to tell you this, but success is usually the other way around, okay? All the tricks that you have, all the strategies, don't mean jack diddly if people don't trust you, if people don't know you, if you're not putting yourself out there. And it starts with you being confident with the star player. Are you doing anything to, 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 to put yourself out there? You know what? I could give you the best product in the world and I could give you the best sales team in the world, but you will still fail. That is a truth. That is a given. I know of people that have run companies to the ground. You know why? Because they just inherited the companies because of the combination of either greed ego, um, you know, a, a different mindset to the person who started the business and a few sort of other ingredients that you probably never realized that are present. And you know why? Because this whole entrepreneurial journey thing, guys, I want to tell you, it's, it's, it's all about what's happening in your head more than what you're seeing out there. All right. Have you ever noticed when, when somebody wants to pay you money, like, oh, no, don't worry about it. That mindset, can you imagine how many more people want to pay you and you're refusing? The universe is listening to that and then saying, okay, he's fine. He doesn't want the money, so I'm not going to give it to them. All right. So that's, that's small things like that. 
Do you know what I mean? Like I said, this is not some rah-rah stuff. It's just really flipping your mindset just a tiny little bit so that you realize that you need to be the star player in this show you're calling your business. Because that's when you start doing the communication with the clients, with the investors, with everybody else that needs to know or even be a part of that business enterprise that you're creating. Thank you so much, everybody else is tuning in. Sorry, I can't see everyone, but I see Alan, Christine has just tuned in. Just give us a bit of a like. And also, if you've been watching up until now, please share this video because somebody might need to hear this. And, and it's not a popularity contest. I'm good. I'm winning. All right. I just want somebody to be helped so that they can also earn a little bit more money. And they can also have less struggle within their business. So when you have shared this video, just type in shared. I've got a gift for you at the end of this show. All right. So like I'm saying, this whole entrepreneurial journey, it's not, it's not a thing about what happens in spreadsheets or in Facebook likes or in, um, you know, in your products. You might have the smash heads. You might have the, 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 the you know, the groundbreaking product that has all the bells and whistles but if the star player is not in tune with the business is not in tune with the people they're working with it ain't gonna go anywhere all right so most of the times if your own personal life sucks that's gonna translate to the business all right what do you get when you squeeze an orange would you get lemon juice or would you get or uh, would you get uh, apple juice? No, you get orange juice. All right, no matter who's squeezing it, your uncle, your your mother, your father, your dad, your sister, your brother. If you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice out of it. So whatever is in there is what is going to come out there. All right. So if you're not working on the top part of your, 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 your shoulders and above to make sure that you're creating and you're relating to the people you're going to be asking money from, it's going to hurt your bottom line. It's going to hurt your business. All right. So, you, you know, you, you can start with the world's greatest company. But let me tell you something. If your personal life sucks, your business will, too. All right, because if you're you you're not confident with yourself, if you're um you know you 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 you've got that vindictive mindset, people will smell that from afar. Back in the time, it used to be difficult. You know why? Because people you you when you do transactions with people, they wouldn't see your face, they wouldn't see how you treat other people on your Facebook, they wouldn't see your status. But right now, people are watching. So any slip of your tongue or, you know, you, you, you're aligned with the wrong things, you're already sending money away because people are watching and listening, all right? So you want to take your frustrations, you know, from your, your, your personal life into the office, you know, or whatever place of work that you're working or onto your Facebook or onto your Facebook page, etc., etc. I know we're all human. Do you know what I mean? You, 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 we are all human. We react in such ways, but people are also watching. You never know what they are aligned to, what their values are, etc., etc. So if your personal life is being projected in such a way that, you know, it's vindictive to other people, it's dangerous, it's harmful, kiss that money, goodbye. Kiss those goals, goodbye. Kiss that holiday, goodbye. Kiss that fancy car, goodbye. You wouldn't have any idea that what you're doing is actually, you know, you know, you're hurting your success. You know why? Because it comes naturally to you. So people are just going to assume you're a jerk, all right? Which is unfortunately bad for business. <laughs> like really bad for business, guys. You know, when people come to your life feed, acknowledge them. Like Sibongile, Kunjan. Hmm? Mbongile, Do you know what I mean? You... you just want to be that person that people can relate to so they can actually pay money, you know, to, to, to support your cause. People are only going to support a city or a building or a town that they helped to build. Back in the time, you know, you could just be, oh, yeah, my name is Stabilo Boss. And um, yeah, just buy this pen. Don't even bother comparing about other, you know, brands. You know why? Because we're the best. And people took your word for it. Right now, if you, if you want to buy something, are you not going to check a history of what people are saying? You know? Are you not going to check what reviews people are saying about your product? So if you reject to somebody else and then that customer just sort of aligns with what that customer was saying, you've lost that person 
completely. All right? So face up to the fact that, you know, you might be lonely, you might be sad, you know, you might be doing some things that are just by the whim, but your little poor human feelings are going to jeopardize your business tomorrow. It's not hard. I mean, it's, 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 we're supposed to be human and all, you know, but your little poor human brains, they're just going to be programmed to survive and they're going to be programmed to love and to reproduce. Nobody is going to care about how you felt on a particular day. They just care about what you can do for them. All right. So you want to show people that you are the person that can help them solve their own problems as well. By being an example, because people purchase what they aspire to be. So if they aspire to be what it is that you're representing, people will find you, look for you, and connect with you, and even share your stuff so that your audience widens up. Okay? I've, I've lived this firsthand, and I'm, I'm also sort of living proof. I, I thought I could, you know, waltz around in life stupid, stupidly fast with all the fancy dressing, fancy clothes, fancy cars, and I thought I was the god of entrepreneurship, you know? But, you know, when I, was reali when I realized I was wrong, people want to see what they want to see, you know? I started failing. I, I could see I was succeeding, but I was not fulfilled. And there's a time when I actually did hit rock bottom while I was thinking I'm on top of my game. You know, the great thing is a lot of people that are actually watching this will look at it, you know, with all that sort of negativity and then they'll think, oh, who does he think he is? But I'm just clearly telling you, watch what you say, watch who you talk to, watch how you say it, because everything that's online stays online. All right. So I'm not just sitting here. I'm not preaching. I'm just really trying to help you make a little bit more money with less struggle later on in life. And also you want to start getting recognition within your industry. You know why? Because people are listening. They might not be ready today, but they're watching. So your personal life should also be a reflection of what you are selling so that the authenticity is just fluid. You don't then have to worry about a work-life balance because what you do and what you're selling is one and the same thing. And you're believable. Yeah? So, you know, you want to you wanna really start looking at, 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 at things that people really, really want. People have basic needs. If you don't know what those basic needs are, look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You know, stop talking about revenue. Start talking about momentum. Oh, there's six figures, there's millions. People switch off when people start talking about money and numbers. People are not designed to understand numbers or to be emotional about numbers. You know, that only works in the corporate world. You know, where you hear people talking about multiple, you know, revenue streams or things like that. You know, things about numbers. I'll tell you something. It's very boring to humans. And they fundamentally don't even care or they're not even drawn to numbers. Do you think in numbers? Do you dream in numbers? Do you feel in numbers? You know, do you, do you feel like, oh, yeah, you know, today I feel like three heartbeats. You, people don't feel like that. Feeling is, you know, perpetual. All right? And they don't really think about numbers. So if you tell me that your business grew by 300% last month and, you know, you, know, and, 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 and you, you probably have my attention for about a second. All right, and then after that, I don't care. But if you tell me that you created a product that saved five people's lives last month who were about to die from cancer, you've plugged a cord. You have my attention and probably my wallet. All right, start creating to people. We're not, you know, we, we, it's no longer the corporate environment anymore, guys. I mean, yes, you need to talk about how much revenue you're making just to keep the lights on. But none of that is going to affect me or the way I do business. You know, what's really missing in your entrepreneurial journey could be talking about momentum. You know, people need to see how you are helping others. You know, you want to be talking about things that people in your team or even yourself are actually doing and what people actually care about. Then people will join into your vision. People would want to change the same world that you want to change in your own unique way.
They're not going to remember about the 300,000 that you made last fall. All right? So if you want to be doing, you know, if you really want to start communicating with people, momentum. All right? You, you move people towards a specific goal. I mean, I'm just assuming that probably you're not smoking crack, you know, and the numbers <laughs> are not just coming out. But momentum towards your goal will align with what people want. At the end of the day, have you ever seen a U-Haul with, I mean, a, 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 um, a, a hearse with a U-Haul? What we create on earth, we never take away with. And we all know that deep down. People want things of substance. And if you really want to create and relate with any human being, start, stop talking about revenue and really start talking about purpose. You know, all that 100% time that everybody's talking about, 300 growth phase or whatever, it's because you, 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 know, you sound purposeless. You're not deep enough. Everybody now wants substance. I don't know, maybe some of you, uh, um, you know, um, you know um, what do you call it? Uh, stimulated by numbers. But can you remind me when somebody mentioned a number and you actually remembered it? You know? Yes, you might get, they might get your attention for three seconds, but after that, people have certain needs. Look up Maslow's, um, you know, hierarchy of needs. All right? And in, in all this stuff, if you're going to be just sucking in strategy after strategy with no action, no momentum, eh, it's not going to really get you anywhere. All right? The world now is looking for leaders that are going to stand up and actually get others to take action. So I'm, I'm giving you the permission today, if you really, really want to start creating and relating and focusing on the people that are going to pay you money, you have to start either showing them the momentum, aligning with their goals and actually showing some sort of progress. You know? Business is not that shallow, guys, nor can it be faked. You can never fake feelings. All right? I've created a, a, a program that you can follow. It's easy to follow. You capture the right people. You give them the right content by engaging with them. You convert with them. You know why? Because they're now aligned to your story. And you just connect with them without the hustle and bustle of trying this and trying that. It's just a simple program that works. If that's what you want for your business, because I know I want you to make money and I know I want you to struggle a little bit less. Just type in blueprint and I'll send you through a copy of that. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this. Go out there and actually start creating and relating to the people that are going to pay you to sustain your entrepreneurial journey. All right. Because right now you might be thinking that, you know, your journey is not phenomenal. It's only because you're not looking after the star player. All right. I want you to win. I want you to do good. I really, really want to see you at the top. It's a bit lonely up here. Share this if you found a few nuggets on this, because you know what? Somebody might actually want to hear it. Go out there and create and relate to the people that are actually going to pay for your existence. All right. Thank you so much for your time today.